Guys, today I am making a one pot meal that you're gonna love. You're gonna be making it all fall and winter long. It's a spicy pot roast. Super fast to throw together. Takes a few hours in the oven. I like to do these kinds of braises when I'm at home on the weekend cleaning or doing laundry. So I'm getting my veg ready. It's one really big onion cut into half inch wedges. I also have one pound of small potatoes, like new potatoes, and then three really big carrots that I've cut into three inch pieces. For the pot roast portion of the pot roast, I have a three and a half pound brisket. And to make it spicy, five teaspoons or one tablespoon plus two teaspoons chili powder, same thing. A Little bit of fennel seed, three quarters of a teaspoon. I really love fennel. And this is a little bit unusual in this kind of pot roast. We've done pork with the fennel and the garlic before that was really delicious. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Teaspoon of coarse salt and three quarters of a teaspoon of pepper. So it's really highly seasoned and it's quite spicy with all of that chili powder and the black pepper. I think you're really gonna like it. Sort of coat, Ugh. three and a half pounds of brisket, pretty big piece. I love a brisket in a slow cooked method. All right, that's pretty well coated. Now I just wanna brown my meat first. So over here, I have a large Dutch oven. I had it heating on a medium. I'm turning it up to a medium high. Add about four teaspoons of olive oil. You can use a neutral flavored oil too, so it doesn't burn if you want, because higher smoking point. And then put your meat in. You wanna brown it on both sides to build up some really great flavor. That should take about eight minutes total. Turn it over and brown the other side. The chili powder will get quite dark, so don't be afraid if it looks like really dark. Enough browning. Now saute your onion. I like to add this as quickly as possible. Those spices do have a tendency to burn in the pan if the pan gets too hot. I see that some of these spices are burning on the bottom of the pan. So you know what? I kind of changed my mind about the process of this. What I want you guys to do when you make it is season your beef with the salt and pepper and then add the spices to the sauteing onion instead of before browning the beef. That way you don't have to worry about the burning. Now I'm gonna add the remaining spices and four cloves of garlic mince. Give that a stir. You just want the garlic to be fragrant. Add two tablespoons of tomato paste and give that a stir. And then return the meat to the pan. Add two cups of water and one bottle of Pilsner. The liquid won't completely cover the meat, but it should come at least like two thirds of the way up the sides and that's great for braising. You wanna bring this to a boil and then cover it and put it into a 350 degree oven for three hours before adding the vegetables. The big reveal, steaming and delightful. So now what you wanna do is let the meat rest just a little bit before you slice it. I'm just gonna move some of the potatoes onto a platter so that I'm not struggling too much to get the meat out of the pot. I have a spatula and some tongs. It gets really tender in the oven, so I like to use a spatula and then just sort of steady it with tongs to remove it and put it right onto the board. And let it sit for a sec. You might wanna spoon off some of the fat. I can see that there's quite a bit of fat. You can also do that during the cooking process, right before you add the vegetables, you can remove some fat. Quite a bit has built up. That's from the fat that I used for browning the meat as well as fat that's on the outside of it. So when you get to the point where you pulling in more juices than fat, then just leave it a little fat is pretty tasty. Then you wanna season the sauce and the vegetables with about two tablespoons of cider vinegar, one to two tablespoons, some cilantro, and then save a little bit for serving. Give it a little stir. I can already smell how amazing this is and the vinegar really heightens the flavor. Transfer the veg to the platter, but leave the sauce in the pan because you wanna drizzle that over everything. Now I'm gonna cut up my meat. I'll put the rest of the vegetables on afterwards so I know that there's room. And then slice against the grain. This is super duper tender. There we go. Nestle everything in there. The rest of the vegetables. And then pour the sauce all over the top. Really good. Finish off with a little bit of cilantro. Yum. Seriously, 
I'm just gonna eat right off this platter because I can't wait. Can't wait for a plate. Mmm. <laughs> Depth of flavor that you get from that beer and the spiciness from the chili is beyond belief. You're gonna love this dish, give it a try.